Miles Morales is the Spider-Man from an alternate universe. He has all of Spider-Man's powers, plus a couple of extra ones. He has camouflage powers that allow him to turn invisible, and he has amazing bioelectricity powers that allow him to absorb electricity and to zap people with it. And we're talking very high amounts of electricity, the kind that can knock over the rhino. But this video isn't going to focus on his hero life, but rather his personal life, as we take a look at all of the love interests that Miles Morales has had over the years. In the absolutely amazing Spider-Verse film, Miles Morales has a huge crush on Gwen Stacy, who is a Spider-Woman from another universe. And the two of them do a fair amount of flirting throughout the film, although a lot of it is quite awkward and he also screws up a lot of that flirting, especially when he accidentally rips half her hair off. But she still clearly likes him, and it's likely that the two of them will become an item in the future of the Spider-Verse films. Especially taking into account that in the comic books, Gwen and Miles have shared a couple of passionate kisses, and they have a bit of a will-they-won't-they -they thing going on, although they're not actually dating at the moment, but she's definitely one of the more serious relationships that's going to develop in Miles' life. And in the alternate universe of Earth 8, Miles and Gwen are actually married, and have two children named Charlotte and Max Morales. But in the normal DC universe, he has dated a few other girls, including Katie Bishop. Now, the two of them were quite a serious item, so much so that he eventually revealed his identity as Spider-Man to her. Unfortunately, she was really freaked out by this and told her sister, who then in turn told her parents, who are members of Hydra. And Hydra is, of course, an evil organization of a bunch of zealots who are, well, just evil, basically. And they end up kidnapping Miles and his friends and family. Of course, he was able to escape and save his friends and family, but the whole thing kind of ended their relationship. Even though Katie didn't mean to betray him and she did feel bad about it, Miles still broke up with her. After all, you can't date someone if you can't trust them, especially if they almost get you and your friends killed. It also led to Miles deciding not to tell his future girlfriends that he was Spider-Man. Though, of course, if he dates someone for long enough, he would eventually have to tell them. Though, any relationships he has from here on, he's definitely going to be a lot more secretive about it and he'd definitely vet them to make sure that their family is not full of supervillains. Another serious girlfriend was Barbara Rodriguez, and he stuck to his guns and decided not to share his Spider-Man secret with her. But unfortunately, that was actually this relationship's downfall, because Barbara felt that he was hiding a big secret from her, which of course he was, but it drove a wedge between them, and since he refused to reveal the secret, she eventually broke up with him. Though ironically, he obviously wasn't telling her in order to protect her, but even so, she clearly still has feelings for him, or at the very least, cares quite a deal for him, as she was quite worried when he went missing for a few days on sick leave that was of course Spider-Man related. But even still, at this point, it seems unlikely that they're going to get back together, but it's not impossible. And in his Spider-Man video game, there is Finn Mason, who is a reimagining of the Tinkerer. And Finn and Miles clearly like each other. They have been friends since forever, and you can tell it's going to develop into a relationship. But sadly, it wasn't to be, as she turned out to be a supervillain. And then, of course, she dies at the end of the game, meaning there is no chance of the two of them getting together. Unless she somehow miraculously survived, but that seems unlikely. And getting back to the comics, we have Lana Baumhartner, who is also Bombshell and has feelings for Miles, though it seems that she is more interested in him than he is in her. And it doesn't help that she was a villain when they met though she is turning her life around and trying to be a hero instead. So potentially something could happen between them down the line, but it does seem unlikely. And there is also Starling, who is like Miles' black cat, as she is a criminal with a whole flirting thing going on with Miles. The two of them bonded, and Starling even revealed her whole backstory and secret identity to him, which prompted Miles to take off his mask, even though that was breaking his I'm not going to tell future girlfriends I'm Spider-Man thing. She said that he was cute and gave him a kiss. So there's a whole thing going on with them, and though they're not actually dating at the moment, a lot of people expect them to start dating in the future. And it could be interesting because, as I said, she's kind of like his black cat, and Spider-Man and Black Cat did date at one point, and it was definitely interesting. Miles has also expressed interest in a few girls, such as Stature, who he is ashamed to admit that he finds hot, though that's mainly because she's trying to kill him at the time, though there's nothing going to happen, he was just attracted to her. And he also has a bit of a crush on Marvel Girl, who is the Jean Grey who is displaced in time. 
In a dimensional crossover, they actually team up and she reads his mind, which is very unfair, and finds out that he likes her, and even gives him a small kiss on the cheek when they say goodbye. And he also has a sort of attraction to Miss Marvel, and there's actually a Bizarre Avengers comic where Miles Morales writes fan fiction about Miss Marvel and the spectacular Spider Mole going on a date. It's a very weird issue of the comic, and it's done mainly for laughs, but it's clear that he kinda likes Miss Marvel. Though so far, him and Miss Marvel have had nothing more than some attractions and flirting with one another. They haven't dated properly, and to be honest, it mainly comes across that they're just close friends, but there is a bit of a flirting thing going on between them, and people are just reading too much into it. Because let's be honest, we all kind of flirt a little with friends every now and then, and there's nothing really to it, it's just part of being alive. Although I must admit, in some comics there is a will-they-won't-they -they vibe going on between Miles and Miss Marvel. And they could potentially make a good couple, but it's not really headed that way so far. And currently, Spider-Man is single, though he won't remain that way for long, and his most recent love interest was Starling. So that's most likely going to be the girl he ends up getting with in the near future. But we'll have to wait and see. But that is all of Miles Morales' love interests. Not really that many, but he is quite a young character. With that being said, if there's any that you think I have missed, then please let us know in the comments. Along with which one of these relationships is your favourite, and who you'd like Miles Morales to date in the future. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store, and to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.